A major sports complex could be the first of its kind in Oklahoma. Glenpool city leaders are talking about building the facility. Two News reporter Liz Bryant tells us how it could pay off. Well, Karen, experts say it could pay off in a big way, bringing in $40 million a year. Now, this proposed sports complex would sit on 30 acres. That's bigger than this, Yankee Stadium, which sits on 24 acres. Come on, guys, get in a circle. Circle up. Coach Chad Smith says this is the only place to practice in Glenpool. There's nothing, nothing else, really. Whether running through plays, hey, 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 play. or running through cheers, Smith says they have to get creative on where to take the field with a lack of city-owned fields. I've been saying it for years, uh, especially since they took away the baseball fields and all that and made them soccer fields. Here's what the proposed complex looks like. Six baseball fields, a batting cage, sand volleyball court, a multi-purpose arena, and two restaurants. These types of fields are a great way to bring people into town. Glenpool's assistant city manager says there's already a hotel looking to go next door. Glenpool doesn't really have you know, another entertainment type of complex right now where people can go out and enjoy a night with their family. The $18 million complex would go here at 161st in Elwood. City officials say they'd pay for it with $1.2 million left over from Vision 2025 and $6.8 million from Vision 2. That's if it's passed. This allows the city to make payments until the complex starts profiting, which they say would happen in three years. <laughs> Back at practice, Coach Smith says the complex saves driving out of the city to practice and out of the state for tournaments. Man, I'm all for it. I got a two-year-old and a six-year-old, and I got twin girls that are freshmen, so I'll be here for a while, and my kids and me will be enjoying it for a long time. Now, this complex has been done in 11 other cities in the South. Glenpool would split revenue with a company to maintain it. And you can give your input about the proposed complex next Monday at City Hall. Just go to KJRH.com for all the details. Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.